an incredible 54 minutes. It's a demolition job against the world number six. Her idol on Zabur. Mira Andreva could go far in this tournament. That was an astonishing, mature performance into the third round for the loss of just two games. In 54 minutes, she's done it. Look out for this kid. Unbelievable, what a performance, and uh, just shows, you know, what she was going through, the reaction at the end, and how she was able to contain it and still manage to close it out. The, the level never really dropped at all from start to finish. That's exactly what it meant to her. Nice embrace at the end from uh, Javert. Certainly not her best performance at all, but take nothing away from Andreva, who was excellent. Yeah, that is a tough defeat to take for Anshabur. We look forward to her return to a court and look forward to watching her play some better tennis in the near future. Let's hear from the star of the show. Mira, that was a virtually flawless performance and your first top 10 win. You must be so happy with the way that you played. It looked like you had no nerves out here whatsoever. That's not true. I, uh, I was really nervous before the match because I, uh, I'm really inspired uh, by Ons, by the way she plays. And um, before I uh, started to play on the WTA Tour, I always watch the way her the, her matches and I was always so inspired by the way she plays and now I had a chance to play against her and uh, honestly in the first set I showed uh, an amazing tennis I uh, honestly didn't expect that from myself and uh, it's <laughs> I just wanted to go uh, to play on this uh, big court uh, for the second time and just to enjoy tennis, just to enjoy the time, and uh, I did. You did, yeah. <laughs> and you mentioned this was the second time for you out on Rod Laver because a year ago you were playing the junior final here. How much has changed for you in the last 12 months and your game has just come on so much? Do you feel that way as well? Um, no. I, <laughs> I just feel like I am a bit more mature than I was before. I just... Uh... You're only 16. <laughs> well, that's true, but um, last year I was 15, and so... <laughs> In this year, I think I changed a lot, and uh, I think you can see that on the court. You definitely can. You're only 16. I heard yesterday that you were up with the animals that they had on the player terrace for like an hour because you were obsessed with the koala. What else have you been up to in Melbourne or is the animals the focus? Yes, I, uh, when I arrived here, I saw that on November 16, they will bring the animals. And I told myself that I have to be here on November 16 and to watch all the animals and uh, to hold the snake, and uh, I did with my agent. He was so scared, <laughs> but I, I forced him to do it, so we did it together, and the animals was the, the only thing that I did so far in Melbourne. Well, you did a great job on the court as well. Give it up for Mira Andreva. Well, let's not forget she's just reached the third round of the, the tournament as well as meeting it. A few animals as well. It's been a pretty good week by the sound of things. What a match. A very mature interview and assessment as well. Absolutely. And, yeah, if you, if you want to see a few more interviews, they're, they're, they're always pretty entertaining. In Madrid, talked about how seeing Andy Murray in, in real life, how beautiful he was. So she is... Uh, quite a character, great personality and uh, a very good tennis player.
exciting prospect and I mean all eyes on her at the moment what a match 